Hi, I'm Eric Dewey. And this is Steve O'Mooney. And I'm Matthew Renfro. And we're Socially Awkward. You're listening to another great production on the Four Eyed Radio Network. Check out more shows at foureyedradio.com. Reminds me of you, though. Are we recording? Yeah. Oh, because I'm happy. I like that song. There's only one, one verse. That's it. That's the oh, really? Song. Yeah. Is it that long? It's like that short or whatever? It's like four minutes long, but it oh. only says that the whole time. Oh, it's the Pharrell, one. right? No, um, I don't know. It's from that movie. What movie? Despicable Me. Oh, yeah. Pharrell, yeah, you're yeah, right. <laughs> but it's also, it's in a commercial, too. I knew it, because it was on a cartoon. You knew. Yeah, <laughs> well. So many songs. <laughs> it's awesome. That's pretty much how it goes around here. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. I'm coffee today. Really? Late yeah. night? Um, yeah. Good. Yeah, fun night. Great night. Good for you. Great night last night. Um... Went uh, and did stand up live for the first time um, with Ralphie, so that was fucking awesome. He is, man. He he went up. His set was like ten hour, ten hours, two hours and like ten minutes long. So he was supposed to go for an hour, and he just went an hour ten extra for the seven thirty show, and uh, it was the fucking best set I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. That's good. Like, uh, I have so much work to do. <laughs> I'm just watching him getting so jealous of the way he... Now, granted, he's been doing it for 25 years nonstop. Um, but God, man, that set was fucking incredibly funny. And just laid back the whole way through everyone in the audience. He talked about so many different things. Didn't matter how old you were. You laughed hysterically. He just had everybody going, man. I... I'm so jealous. Did you go up last night? Yeah. I just did like 10 minutes. That's that's a long time. Yeah, it was fun though. I mean, it was it was way fucking cool. Good. How'd you do? I did well. But then, you know, you, the crowd laughs and you're like, all right, this is so much fun. Like they're laughing. I'm having a blast. And then Ralphie goes and it's like, I didn't get him to laugh like that. <laughs> like, these people are dying laughing, repeating what he's saying immediately after he says it. Like, That's funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you went before him. Yeah. yeah I'm not going after him. <laughs> the like, fuck? Kevin, yeah, your turn. We have a new you headliner what? tonight. You know what? I'll, I'm just going to sit this one out. No. Sold out crowds. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, Just so fucking fun. Oh, well, good. That's... Yeah. So, you guys, wherever you're at, whatever city you're in, if Ralphie's coming to your city, fucking go. Uh, it is well worth the price of admission because he gives you a hell of a show. Okay, well, and he, he usually time. does go over the time, but, I mean, he didn't plan on going two hours plus. But nobody minded. No, it was, he could have went for five hours. That crowd last night would have fucking stayed. It was great. It was awesome. Well, good. Yeah. Glad you had fun. Thank you so much. And so, guys, everybody in Phoenix... Um, February 23rd, it's a Sunday, 7 p.m. at Stand Up Scottsdale. I will be on that stage as well, telling jokes. Um, $10, price of admission, and you can call ahead of time to make your reservation at 480-882-0730. Again, February 23rd, 7 p.m., Stand Up Scottsdale. Come see me and tell them you came to see me. So I can make money again. <laughs> <laughs> I love stand-up Kevin. He has so much energy. He's like a whole new Kevin. It I is a whole it. new me. He's standing up right now doing this podcast. You're a liar. I am lying. He's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> I only stand up to, A, go to the fridge, <laughs> B, to pee, and C, to tell jokes in public. Otherwise, I roll around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I really haven't seen you stand that much. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I I tried drinking, um, like, liquor in the past week. Yeah. Because I'm a beer drinker, but it's so bad for you. No, I guess no alcohol is great for you. Yeah. Maybe rubbing like alcohol. Liquor is probably worse. Um, so I tried whipped cream vodka and cream soda, and it 
was so gross. It used to taste good. <laughs> it had been so long. It's so gross. It's ruined cream soda for me. Now I have two liters of cream soda in my fridge that I will literally pour out. I don't know how cream soda wasn't already ruined for you. That stuff is so gross. Dude, I love cream soda. <laughs> I love terrible. it. Have you ever had a cream soda float? No. It's like a root beer float, but it's cream soda. I haven't That's had how I'm getting rid of the years. cream soda. All right. I'm, root going beer float the, party. I'm going to the store. I'm buying a fucking huge jug of ice cream. <laughs> you go to the liquor store. Where do you keep your ice cream? <laughs> oh, right over there by the whipped cream vodka. <laughs> Idiots. So, but I think I can only drink beer, which sucks. No, I think liquor's terrible for you, but I think you just need less of it. So that's. Well, I need maybe. less of everything. <laughs> More standing, less drinking. Yeah. It's that simple. No magic pill. And then the pounds just start shredding off your body. You just move more and you eat less. Doesn't matter what you eat, just eat less of it. I like that. I like that idea. (laughs) (laughs) I've been Um, working for years. I was thinking the other day, like, so much has changed since we were kids. Because you're a parent and I'm a parent. Mm -hmm. And the way that people parent now, so different. From when we were kids. Mm-hmm. And I'm, st- I'm starting to think like, okay, what happens when our kids get older? And what, you send your kid outside and like full pad everything <laughs> and a mask over his face so he can't breathe the air. <laughs> like, and, they, and then they're going to, our kids, when they get to be adults, they're going to be like, oh, you think you had it rough. <laughs> well, I had to wear a helmet when I rode my bike. Yeah, our kids don't get to, well, I don't know. The other day, my kids, they were playing outside. If you've ever been to my house, I have grass in the front yard, and to the right of my house is just a little bit more grass. It's like an extension of my house. So my kids were outside playing in the grass. I always tell them, go outside and play. You're supposed to go outside and play. And this lady comes up to my kids, and she goes, which one's your house? And they point to our house. They're literally, like, standing in my front yard, just Mm. a little bit to the right of it. She's, oh, that's too far. You need to go home. What? My husband was in the garage, so he's kind of watching them, and they're still kind of at home. Yeah. She walks into our garage, and she says, your kids were playing way too far from the house. What? <laughs> this is awful. This I is know. It's awful. I feel bad. Like, my son likes to wear a helmet when he rides his bike. I never wore a helmet for anything. Like, and that maybe explains some things, but I never, like, never. No pads, no nothing. My parents didn't even ask where the fuck I was. I would wake up in the morning and just leave. I was eight years old. I'd come home at, like, six o'clock at night. They wouldn't even ask where I was. They'd just be like, ah, there's dinner. (laughs) We had a great day without you. Like, Mm -hmm. but now it's like, call me every minute. You're gone. I need to know where you are. You need to do this and this and wear this. And uh, it's just horrendous monitor everything you see on the internet and on tv oh, like yeah. now you can uh you can program your tv to like get, block channels that's terrible right like, i only want I don't to want block them watching their the... channels their channels are yeah. terrible i want to block those channels that's what i did <laughs> my son's like where is nick jr it used to be channel whatever <laughs> you block that yeah show. i'm like nice. i don't for whatever reason direct tv got rid of it <laughs> and they must have not paid the bill <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> And he's like, the only thing on here is Sports Center. Yeah, that's on a loop. ESPN News is just the only thing we watch. That's we don't have to watch TV. You can go outside and I'll unblock all the channels. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I just hate the censorship in kids. It's terrible. My parents never censored me in anything. Well, you're terrible too, though. So I'm a good person. But you say the w- worst, weirdest shit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit of censorship. Yeah, well, I remember. I think I, I think I was like eight years old. When I my know dad... they censored us. They slapped us if we said shit they didn't like. Yeah, well, my mom put soap in my mouth once. <laughs> my mom did that. She put did she? dish soap, liquid dish soap, oh, in my God. mouth. Palm well... olive. <laughs> you don't forget things like that. No, but she like my mom would put. Um, I said something at the dinner table. She's like, "That's it." I, she got fed up. I must have had a rough day at the office, <laughs> taking her day out on me. And she pulls me into the bathroom. She shoves the bar of soap in my mouth. She's like, how does that taste? And I'm like, I can't talk. It's like shit. Yeah, I can't talk. That's exactly what I said. And I'm like, ugh. ugh. She just keeps jamming the thing in my fucking throat. And then takes it out. She's like, how does it taste? I'm like, tastes like shit, Mom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is, was this how you make your cooking better? You give me something that tastes awful? 
That's a great idea. <laughs> Feed my kids the worst shit ever, so then they'll eat my cooking. Did you ever get spanked uh, as a child? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did a lot? Yeah. Wow. They did, believed in it. Did, uh... So did your family, your parents, you, do they go bare hand or do they use utensils? <laughs> we had a spatula, a belt, a ping pong paddle, and just like the uh, regular hand. A ping pong paddle would be fun. <laughs> it kind of was. My brother was always really naughty getting in trouble and he put a book in his pants and my mom went to spank him and she broke her wrist. No way. That's <laughs> awful. That's child abuse. That is a parent abuse too. She's playing a dirty trick. That's a terrible thing. I would get kind of uh, no, where depending on where I got in trouble in the house. That depended on what my parents hit me with. <laughs> <laughs> so if I got in trouble near my parents' bedroom, I got the belt, which sucked. <laughs> it was like being in Singapore and spitting on the street and getting caught. Caning. Yeah, they wet my back and then just fucking whip me for five minutes. <laughs> I'm bleeding all over the place and never got me to do it. I did again. <laughs> What did you um, do? Ask for bacon? You know what? I can't even remember. I don't remember being a bad kid. <laughs> I really don't. Because you were never home. They're probably just like, Whatever. yeah, I was out. I was out playing mm-hmm. outside, riding my bike, getting and in trouble. Blades. People didn't have to find out about it. <laughs> no checking your internet history. You were outside making history. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's terrible. I, like I checked. It. I checked my daughter's internet history not that long ago, just to see what she was looking up. And she YouTube's. Biggest roller coaster in the world. All these like fun, uh, she's cute sweet things. and innocent. Yeah, she's that's still that's cool. She's still good. I checked my son's internet history and it was nothing but porn. <laughs> it's terrible. It turned out to be my internet history. <laughs> I had the wrong computer. <laughs> um, no, so then if I got in trouble closer to the other side of the house where the kitchen was, then I got a paddle, which is like the fraternity size paddle. That's terrible that our parents used to keep things around to hit us with yeah my mom never used it for cooking (laughs) i never saw her use it to cut anything on like a cutting board or something no it was to whoop my ass and it was like i i remember (laughs) like my dad would would like hit me spank me or whatever like i'm calling the cops on you and my dad would be like fine fucking call him (laughs) and i'd be like i don't know the number don't they teach you that in school you moron I don't, I don't pay attention. We'll get back here. I'm going to hit you again for not paying attention. you got to pay attention to school. <laughs> well, at least school isn't allowed to hit us. No, but those were the stories that my dad would always tell me. He's like, you think you have it bad? Well, when I was in school, the teachers were allowed to hit students. And they would hit you with rulers on the hands. And he's like, he would tell me this one story. I think there's a real, real bad kid in his class. And one of the teachers, because back then he lived on the East Coast. In Pennsylvania. And I guess the school had like a basement or something. Um, So he said the teacher took the kid downstairs in the basement and beat the shit out of him. Oh, that's (laughs) terrible. Yeah. Oh, that's really sad. Well, I mean, but I guess he was a real bad kid. Like he deserved to get his ass kicked. (laughs) And it just wasn't happening in school. So by the kids. To this day, he can't look at a nun. (laughs) He's like, what the fuck? Now, it definitely wasn't uh, nun school. My dad's Jewish. Oh. So rabbis are a mean mofo. Because I I've heard that nuns were the I've heard that disciplinary. Too. The Catholic school. schools. Yeah. Yeah, like those are super strict, and they'll just whoop on you. I'm pulling my kids out of school immediately. This is a scary conversation. I know, dude. I know. I'm actually opening up a daycare because students <laughs> are starting to sleep with their teachers. <laughs> daycare. What? That's disgusting. I'm a change. This is I'm done. I'm not fitted I'm dis- for that at all. What are you, it's all a joke, obviously. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but the thoughts are entering my head, and I'm just like, fuck, I came here to talk about Valentine's Day. And oh, now yeah. Now we're talking about Kevin's this basement, is our Valentine- turning your basement into a daycare. <laughs> <laughs> On the school supply list, every kid gets a whistle and a helmet. <laughs> yeah, and handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we thought that this would be maybe a good time to sell or recognize Valentine's Day because I don't celebrate it. Me either. But I, okay. <laughs> because. Oh, not by choice. No woman <laughs> will spend the day with me. <laughs> okay, well, I just think it's one more day that I have to remember and buy shit I don't want to buy and get things I don't want to get. Because my husband always thinks that a nice gift for me would be something that came from Walgreens five minutes before he sees me. <laughs> And while I appreciate the thought, I'd rather him just hand me 10 bucks and be like, buy yourself something nice. You know? Yeah. Unless you're bringing me home booze, 
don't stop at Walgreens. Yeah, that's your that's the best gift to get Nancy. <laughs> If you're going to send a gift for the show or something, just make it alcohol. <laughs> and we'll hash it out, whoever drinks it. One of us will drink it. I'll like, even no drink it what. with cream soda or whipped cream vodka. I'm not picky. I know you're not. You mix liquors. <laughs> you're like, oh, shit, there's nothing to mix with Jack Daniels here. Where's the vodka? <laughs> I actually came up with a pretty good drink the other day um, from that Super Bowl party we had. I had all all these extra Smirnoff ices and Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah. And I don't really like them because they have too, so much sugar in them. Real sweet. Yeah. So I decided to mix them with vodka, like a Ew. vodka with a splash of that, because it's like... And it was good? Better than vodka. Well, straight vodka, sure. Yeah. Yeah, Nancy and I went to uh, a Super Bowl party, and uh, like I, went, I brought my son, and we watched the game. He actually had a lot of fun. It was a fun, cool uh, Super Bowl party. The food was really good. Those taquitos, man, Braden and I just went off on those things. <laughs> those are pretty good. Yeah. Like, and he first saw, I grabbed one, I'm like, you want one? Because I knew he hadn't eaten that much that day. He was like, you want one? He goes, no, no thanks, Dad. And then I took a bite from him, and he goes, Dad, Dad, come here. <laughs> like, brings me down to his level. And then he whispers my ear, he's like, I just want a bite, I don't want a whole one. <laughs> he's like, all right. So I gave him a bite, and then he goes, Dad, Dad, come here, come here. I lean back down again. He goes, Dad, I want a whole one. I was like, then grab one, they're right here. <laughs> Be a little self-sufficient, dude. Do things on your own. They're too scared. Yeah, he is. He's very shy. Oh, yeah, I know. I've tried to talk to I've known the kid for like two years. <laughs> yeah, he's very shy. kind of talks to me sometimes. Yeah. Huh. He's opening up. He's real proud that he's five years old. Oh, Tells everybody he's five. Because you can do it with your hands so yeah. easy. Yeah. You don't have to control any of your other fingers. No, nah, I know. He just used to, when he was there. four, he'd tell people he was one with his middle finger. Oh, nice. Yeah, how old are you? He'd just flip them off. <laughs> so this many? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I like that kid. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it was a fun party. Our team lost. Well, my team. Yeah, Seahawks won. Congratulations. That was a boring game. Congratulations, every single other person on my Facebook. <laughs> it was such a boring game. I wanted it to be fun and it close and a really good game. And right from the start, dude, it was over. Yeah, I know. I had trouble paying attention. Yeah. I was a little drunk. And that I thought to do I it. thought the commercials were actually pretty good. I, the majority of people said that they didn't like them, but I, I did. liked them. I liked him this year. I thought year. the spray tan commercial was great. Yeah. That dude that won for the Doritos commercial won a million dollars. He lives here in, uh, Jesus, I can't talk. He lives in Arizona. Oh, really? Yeah, in like Phoenix, Scottsdale. Well, he'll be moving Something to like Scottsdale now. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and buy a million dollar home. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about Valentine's Day. So I decided to compile a list of Yay. things I found on the internet of Things you should not buy a woman for Valentine's Day. Oh, good. Okay. So I read this article, and at first it was basically saying that according to a lot of women, Valentine's Day is a day that gives men the opportunity to defy your relationship. So basically, by the right gift or the wrong gift says how I really feel about you. Okay. Okay. This is why I think this holiday is such a crock of shit. <laughs> I hate it. It's so stupid. And it makes everything that isn't expensive really expensive. You know how cheap I am. Yeah. Okay. So, first thing on the list, not to buy your girlfriend. <laughs> I love this one. Girlfriend it's, slash wife? Or is it just strictly girlfriend? I don't think girlfriend? wives care. Okay. I think only girlfriends care. Okay. Because wives like, I'm a sure thing. You know? Yeah, that's true. Our money's our money. If I want something, I'm just going to go buy it. True. Because we're adults. All right, a diamond ring-shaped keychain. What? Haven't you seen those oh, big diamond yeah. rings and they're a keychain? That's key chain? stupid. I know, I thought this was funny. This says that, wait, these can oftentimes make a woman think you're attempting to propose when in fact you're really saying, I have and never will have <laughs> any intentions to marry you. <laughs> Enjoy your keychain. <laughs> All right. The second one is fundies. What these the I wouldn't mind. That? Fundies are a pair of underwear for two people. One pair of underwear, two people get inside. <laughs> That's a good gift. I thought so, too. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> this one was good. A romantic picture taken with your smartphone. No woman wants a picture of you for a gift. Yeah. We don't want a picture of anything. Maybe of ourselves. Maybe. No pictures. No, you know no the smartphone pictures. apps? You can take a romantic picture of yourself, like, no. and there's like a rose in the background. Well, I saw it on no. the internet. It's ridiculous. No sending romantic pictures. So, like taking a selfie? Right, but oh, it kind of God, like crops hate, it into I hate like that word. I hate saying it. I hate seeing it. I'd like it if it meant something else. 
what I first thought it meant when I heard it. I was yeah. like, yeah, I like that. That's a good word. <laughs> but when I found out what selfie meant, I was like, oh, dumb. <laughs> this one I liked kind of. Um, a pizza in the shape of a heart. Ooh, delicious. Yeah. I can't Dude, I'll do that. All I have to do is eat the top slice. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much a pizza. I mean, a heart. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what the company is, but it's like some freezer pizza that they do for Valentine's Day in the shape of a heart. I thought it was nice. Totino's? Something. It's like a dollar at the store. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. You found frozen pizza for a dollar? No, I haven't. Oh, is that in that box? At the no, gas no, no. It's like That's a legit disgusting. like frozen pizza. Oh. Gross. You put, but it's like a dollar. All right, well, cut it in the shape of a heart, and you're in. It's top ramen with sauce. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right, this was good. This is a pink Sony game console. This is not a gift for your girlfriend. Uh, yeah. This is a gift for you, <laughs> disguised in pink. <laughs> Don't do that. That's rude. I like that. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, let's see. Oh, I like this one. Pajama grams. Have you heard of this? Like my grandma's pajamas. Nothing says sexy like footy pajamas for an adult. Oh, yeah, and they deliver. Don't take time out of your day to buy a shitty gift. Have it delivered. Wait a second. My grandma doesn't wear footy pajamas. She wears moo-moos. <laughs> really? And she looks good. Well, this pajamagram is like this whole thing. You could call this company and they deliver these footy pajamas. Footy pajamas to you? Yeah, and that's a gift. I like You can have pajamas. a gift delivered. You do? Yeah, well, I haven't worn them since I was a little kid. And then my parents wouldn't buy me new pajamas <laughs> as I got bigger and older, so they just kept cutting them so I'd fit. <laughs> I do that and with my By kids. the time I was 11, I was wearing a tube top and a G-string. Oh. <laughs> no wonder you love footy pajamas. <laughs> okay, this I actually got a talking teddy bear for my husband one year. But we teddy Rutzbin? This, well, this bear we got, I bought him, was called the Bad News Bear. This is a talking teddy bear. It says, if you can't say it yourself, don't say it at all. This talking teddy bear says you're a pussy. What? Because the teddy bear is supposed to say yeah. what you want to say, but you can't. Uh, you're, that is a Do bad gift. Do not get an adult, a stuffed animal. Ever, really? Unless what there's if... cocaine inside of it or something. Jeez, drug smuggler. I had no idea. I'm sitting across from where the Millers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's more things not to get people. Do not get the book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. Because yeah, it's 14 years old. I'm just reading the list. Chicken Soup for the Soul. This implies... The don't Buy Valentine's Day Gifts Edition. <laughs> Do get the book, Men Are Clams and Women Are Crowbars. I've never heard that. It's a good book. Is it a real book? Yeah, I have it. It's hilarious. Really? It's really funny, yeah. Men Are Clams and Women Are Crowbars? It helps you understand a man and a woman so you know how to... Communicate better. Ugh. So if you understand that a man doesn't want to be talked to at all, and then a communicate woman also better, wants to but it's in a book. Them. You read it by yourself. <laughs> That's terrible. I have such a downward opinion on everything, especially <laughs> reading. Yeah. Oh no, reading is awful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I almost bought an audio book the other day. You should. But then I decided I don't have that kind of time. What audio book was it? Uh, you know what? I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't even read the title. It just said audiobook. I was like, that'd be nice. <laughs> and then I thought Where are the pictures? <laughs> yeah. Describe this yes. page to me in a picture. Um, let's see. Oh, do not buy a candy bra. It's like a candy necklace, but it's a bra. This implies your relationship is purely sexual. Unless that's what you guys are into, and that's good, too. Yeah, I guess that's not a horrible gift. Uh, it's candy. That's true. It's supportive. <laughs> Okay, also, don't make roses out of duct tape or anything out of duct tape. Who the fuck does that? How do you do that? Duct tape Why is a new that? trending thing to do. With... My kids made a duct tape wallet. They made duct tape what? hair bows. They're making everything out of duct tape. A duct tape rose? Yeah. I don't understand. I'll show you a picture. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, and this was my favorite. I think this is the most ridiculous thing ever. My kids come home from school with these all the time. Coupons. Like, this is a coupon for Be sometime. careful now. You're treading on shallow water. I'm Jewish. <laughs> coupons are a decent gift. <laughs> okay, so these would be romantic coupons. Oh, yeah. One they're coupon hilarious. coupon good for. <clears throat> they are hilarious. When I was married, my wife gave them to me, but then put an expiration date of the day before. <laughs> 
<laughs> give coupons. This one's for a headache. <laughs> Get one free headache. So I hope that helps everybody when buying gifts this yeah. year for Valentine's Day. If you guys bought that stuff, please go return it. Um, or just keep it for yourself. And then go get something new. Unless it's the fundies or the pizza. That sounds like fun. Hey, do you like cards? Yeah. Like receiving cards? Um, sometimes, yes. Only funny ones. Yeah? Yeah. I, I hate them. Uh, you do? Yeah. Well, because, one, I have to read it. Oh, yeah, you hate Boo. reading Boo. Two, it's just a, it sucks. What about the ones that sing? I hate those even more. I hate them even more. They're like five dollars each, too. Not, I don't care that they're five dollars. I hate the fact that if it cracks open a little bit, it just starts going off singing. Like, oh my god, I not fucking lose good songs. my mind. Ugh. Yeah, they're the annoying, like, catchy songs, and it's because uh, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go make a card. <laughs> Just terrible. <laughs> I can't stop coughing and clearing my throat. I'm so sorry. Radio 101, don't do that. Oh, you're supposed to have water. Yeah, I don't bring any. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because I take risks in life. I took a risk with that shirt. Thanks. <laughs> and, and you won. Yeah, well. <laughs> I dressed, dressed down again. <laughs> I was talking last night... Um, to a couple people on how much I like suits look nice like they're a nice thing to wear but they're uncomfortable um, which is not odd coming from me because jeans are uncomfortable regular shorts are uncomfortable for me if it's not basketball shorts and a t-shirt I'm in like the shittiest mood from having to wear clothes <laughs> yeah, you live in the right place I'd be the greatest caveman of all time <laughs> just that little flap of Pleather. You, I was going to say, you got. should try out leather. See how you like leather on your skin. <laughs> Get a leather fundy. Dude, it's so gross. Um, <laughs> if I could find somebody else to dress down like me, <laughs> we'd go have these on the fundies. <laughs> Save some cash. <clears throat> um, you hate suits? Suits are good, though. Well, I think, Every yeah. grown man's supposed to have one, right? At least, right? I think so. I think so, too. And know how to tie a tie, oh, yeah. which is cool. Every time I have to do that, i got to watch YouTube, YouTube. videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, that's how you do it. And then I forget two seconds later. I am not good at adult things. I'm very good at children things. Like, I can play. <laughs> I can sit. And I can, I can sit and be quiet. You can. Yeah, way better than what my son can I do. Can't. I win every time in that game. Hey, Brandon, let's play, let's play a game. Let's play a game. I know you're real competitive, and I know you like to win at everything, so let's see who can stay quiet the longest. Then you have a nap contest. I win at that every time. I had a nightmare nap yesterday. Oh. Um, here's what happened. Lay down, take my little nappy poo, fell right asleep, woke up two hours later. What had happened was my dream, I got adult napped, which is like kidnapped, but you're an adult. And then they took my son, too, to this apartment. And it was mean guys, and they had parties all the time. And and that sounds great. But they wouldn't let me participate in the partying. Aww. And my son just slept the entire dream. He was just kind of sleeping. And I, I kept trying to make getaways to get out of place, but they like it would catch me every time. <laughs> they were an upstairs apartment with a basement. It was. Well, it was an upstairs apartment. It didn't have a basement. <laughs> But it was real weird and shitty and, like, dark inside, and they just treated me poorly. They made me get a job. It was, like, awful, <laughs> awful. And I woke up, and I thought it was real. I woke up, and I looked around my room, like, where are they? Can I make a run for it? And I was like, oh, shit, it was a dream. Got me again. But why is it when you have a nightmare, you wake up and you think it's real? But then all your other dreams, like the fun ones and cool ones, you wake up like, ah, that would have been awesome if that really happened. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. Oh, do you have a dream book? No. Me I don't either. need one. I, yeah. Do I you believe in that dreams. stuff? No. I don't think dreams yeah, mean anything me at all. I think it's, it means you just got bad sleep that night. Yeah. Or you, you were thinking about it right before you went to sleep and it just carried on. I'm not exactly whimsical. Now, do you dream every night? Yes. Do you remember them? Oftentimes, yeah. Yeah. Pretty vividly. A little more vivid than I'd like. Do you wake up every morning with a song in your head? 
think so. I wake up to my alarm clock and it's the worst sound ever. Like it's a nice sound. It's like the harp or something on my iPhone. <laughs> but I'm just like, oh God. You get woken up by the alarm every, every morning? Every morning. It's the worst. I could, if no one woke me up, I'd sleep till 10 every day. Really? Yeah. Ugh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. I get woken up every morning around 7. Yeah. Like I'll set my alarm. But I always wake up before it. If I have somewhere I know I have to go that I'm kind of stressed out about, I'll wake up like right before my alarm goes off. Yeah, isn't that weird? Way weird. Yeah. Oh, I started watching American Horror Story. Sure. And it's scary. And I liked it. I was like, oh, it's too scary. I can't watch it. One more episode. Just one more. But I've been having nightmares. It is scary? I I kind of I won't watch it. I don't like scary stuff. It's creepy. Um, Did you ever watch The Wire? No. Damn it. Is it a movie? No. It's a TV show. It's off the air. Been off the air for a while. But I heard it's really good. I'm going to start watching it. Okay. Um, all right. So last week, we said we were going to do Mad Libs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we did them. Did you do it too? No. Oh. Well, I just did this one. You didn't yeah. ask me any questions. I only asked you questions. I know, but I figured you already filled in answers for you. If I filled in my own answers, that wouldn't have been fun. Right, whatever. Okay. Well, we're doing just yours. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it says. I know the words that I've chosen, but I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to say what it is. Is that the way you're supposed to do Mad Libs? I think you're just supposed to gather words and then not say what right. it's about. Right, you don't about. read the sentence or anything. Right, but when you read it out loud, then you say what it's about. Yes. So I'm going to say what it's about. This is Valentine's Mad Libs from your secret admirer. <laughs> Dear Kevin, I still remember the first time I ran eyes on you. It was during math class. <laughs> And you came in to give your teacher, Ariel Castro, Uh the very first thing I noticed was your sexy face (laughs) and your large blue unibrow. (laughs) I even That is noticeable, by the way. (laughs) A blue unibrow? You can see it from across the room. (laughs) I even heard on bended knee playing in the background since that day. (laughs) I admit, I have had a creepy basement on you. Ah. All right. I believe that with Ariel Castro. Yeah. That guy's very basementy. Yeah. That was the now. Okay. I will reveal my secret identity on Secretary's Day at <laughs> negative four o'clock sharp. <laughs> Meet me behind the, who's that guy? Media? Oh, Medea. Oh, meet me behind the Medea. I'll be wearing a nude Tyler Perry cages and kisses. <laughs> Your secret admirer. Mine didn't make sense. I know, but it was funny. Damn it. I liked Secretary's Day. It had Ariel Castro, Tyler Perry, cages, basements. What could go wrong? The unibrow was good. Yeah, oh, and it had a unibrow. <laughs> that was good. But let's try this again sometime. All right. We'll, we will try it again. We'll try some different stuff because I think it could be funny. Yeah. That I've one just didn't read correctly at all, funny. but I think it could be funny. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, I had a real question for you. And I literally forgot it. That's how stupid I am. <laughs> the thought came straight to the front of my brain, and I forgot it instantly. Was it about Mad Libs and trying I, I new don't, things? You know, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. I don't think you came here oh, knowing. Yeah, I do. Do you have a, a horrible Valentine's Day story? Because um, that's the way we like to take it. We go negative. <laughs> <laughs> just um, like the way we want our AIDS tests. Negative. Just like my AIDS test. I did go... Well, let's see. For Valentine's Day, I was like 20 or something, and I was dating this guy, and I was so excited that we were going to go out to dinner. And I remember I was like getting out of ballet class, and he was like, we're going to go out for Valentine's Day. So I like changed and got ready at the school and like had this like whole outfit planned and night planned. And I get to his house, and he gave me like these earrings, these like little earrings, and he's like, okay, so happy Valentine's Day. We watched TV, and I was like, Fuck you. What? Like, you told me we were going out. I got dressed up and I, like, made a whole plan out of it and bought shit. Wow. I'm surprised that didn't work out. Yeah. It didn't work out. But I think there's worse ones. I just can't remember. Do you remember being a little kid on Valentine's Day? Yeah. And you get the little cards? Yeah. And it's, like, they're pre-made or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, like, boys would get, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones and... Girls would get strawberry shortcake. You sign your name. Yeah, and you'd bring like a shoe box and people would just put yeah, them in there. I have to do that with my kids. Um, I always remember that everybody got one for everyone in their class and there was always a boy I liked in my class. And he, 
I would always like be excited to read his Valentine's, and it was just him just signing his name. It was the <laughs> yeah. same Valentine's he got for everyone. <laughs> I think they, that's they why even I hate Valentine's their name. Day. It's yeah, like, I thought this name. was from Julie, but it reads Lee Ju. <laughs> <laughs> or if it was in their mom's handwriting, you're like, wow, you gave this no thought yeah. at all. I was so excited to get your little Valentine's card in my box, and <laughs> you gave me the exact same one you gave Alex, who sits right next to us, you <laughs> asshole. This is why I hate Valentine's Day. I don't think good things have really come no. my way. Luckily, my handwriting is so awful, it, it will look like Braden wrote it, <laughs> and I misspelled a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> remember, I, this hasn't happened in a while. Remember I used to go get yogurt with Brayden? Yeah. And weird stuff always happens there? Yeah. Like, no idea why, but whenever we're there, just weird the random Jersey things Shore happen. showed up one time. Yeah. So we hadn't gone for a long, long time. And then, uh, like, two nights ago, he was my son was like, let's go get uh, yogurt. I was like, yeah, we haven't gone in a long time. Let's do it. So we go. Everything's normal. We get our yogurt. We put the stuff in there. Um, which, like, that's how the yogurt places are now. You do all the work. They just tell you how much it costs, which is the easiest gig in the world, right? How can you complain about shit that you put together? Yeah. So my son and I make ours in the cups. Then we go sit down, and this car drives up, stops. Dude gets out of the car with his cup of yogurt, like swings the door open. Goes up to the register. He goes, excuse me, excuse me. And I was like, every time, what the hell is going on here? We can't have just a normal yogurt eating experience. You need gelato. This girl who's probably in high school, yeah. like just working there because, you know, it's your job to make some money and you don't know, take it seriously. You don't know what the hell you're doing either. But um, that's okay because they don't have to do anything. Right. It's the best job in the mm. world for that age. Uh he goes, yeah, so uh, I was eating my yogurt, and a gummy bear got in it, and uh, didn't want that. So what are you going to do about it? And I'm like, you made it. <laughs> it's your fault. You got to proofread your toppings before you just start throwing yeah. shit in there, asshole. Well, in his defense, a frozen gummy bear is so gross. I don't understand how gummy bears became a topping for ice cream. My son loves them. So do my kids. They're cold. They're not gummy bears. They're yeah. like juju bees. Oh, they're or awful. Something. They hurt. Disgusting. Yeah. But seriously, that guy sounds like an asshole. Yeah. So the so the girl working was like, um, I don't. Uh, like she had no idea how to Did communicate. You another one. Their social skills were awful at this point. And he's, like, laying into this girl oh, of just, like, I can't eat this shit. This tastes awful. And blah, I want a new one, and I want my money back, and I want a 10-card, like, free <laughs> punch to card. come back, or I'm never coming back here again. And in my mind, I'm like, this is the person you don't want to come yeah, back here again. Thank card. you for making a promise that I hope you keep. Like, get the fuck out of here. And my son looks at me, and he's like, what's his problem? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, he got a gummy bear in his yogurt. And Brayden's <laughs> like, I'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> no gummy bear left behind they're like the mini ones too they're just so out of place in ice cream i don't get it yeah no i'm terrible. almost with the asshole guy <laughs> like this close to with him so the girl gave him his money back oh no and he got to make a whole new one what a brat yeah such an asshole thing to do a grown man yeah that's embarrassing for yeah me. while his wife waited in the car like he before this even went down, he talked his wife into coming back to, <laughs> to stop it's in front melted. of the store. It's not even like yeah. yogurt anymore. But the best, I mean, he did it. They didn't do it. <laughs> they had nothing to do with that gummy bear being in there. And one, you can't just throw it out. You can't be like, oh man, gummy bear, I don't want this. Just toss it into the yeah. garbage or something. Put it on the floor. Who cares? <laughs> but this guy had the need to come back and yell <laughs> and make everyone uncomfortable but it must have been because we were in there because only yeah. weird shit happens when we're Next there. Next time you guys go, I want to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's let insane. Let me know. It's insane. <laughs> I like those places. But I don't like to let my kids fill them up because if they do it themselves, they'll fill the whole thing up with like six pounds of yogurt. Yes. And just then they because, only eat like four bites of it. Right. Just because they gave you a huge bowl doesn't mean you have to fill up the whole thing. Yeah. Nah, I know. Because then it's like eight bucks for each one. Yeah, you put it on that, that scale. That's how yeah, much it Yeah, we could have gone to a how restaurant. How fucking easy. All I talk about being cheap. <laughs> you refill, you like stock all the toppings, you hook up the yogurt to the machines, and then you give people change. You open candy packages pretty much. That's. Yeah, it's, I, 
Good. I got to open up a hundred of them. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be that expensive. Then you can work with high school girls. It's perfect. Go on. <laughs> it's the perfect gig. <laughs> it's not. I'm not allowed to do that. Anymore? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it would have to be at a terrible location, so I'm not allowed near schools. <laughs> Or Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh, dude, some uh, <laughs> some girl, Lana, Rafi's wife, <laughs> last night, she told a good joke about Chuck E. Cheese, and she's like, "It, it's a, a mascot is a rat. <laughs> like, that, how does that promote good eating? That their mascot's a rat on front of their store. Like, that would be like us going to a hotel and them having a, a mascot of a bed bug." <laughs> It's true. I hate that place. It's so gross. It is gross. The The difference, uh, parents prefer Peter Piper over Chuck E. Cheese because why? There's liquor there. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> that's why every parent's like, when the kids, I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. No, yeah. you want to go to Peter Piper. It's way better there. Well, and the, uh, Chuck E. Cheese is set, so all the games are pint-sized, so adults can't join in on the fun. You can't drink, and you can't play the games. You just have to hand them money. Yeah. At least at Peter Piper, sometimes I like to play that color storm game. You know, where the light goes around in a yeah, circle and you yeah, snag yeah, it. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. good at that. <laughs> and then the ultimate is Dave and Buster's. I went there last weekend. Oh, you did? And we did bowling and uh, games. And I played this game. It's called, oh, Drop Zone or something. You get to shoot zombies. It was the coolest game. It was so fun. The kids went too. They had fun. It is fun. And yeah. you can drink there too and you can I eat did. good food. Yeah. We ate I good like food. We drank. It's expensive. We very expensive. Yeah, especially expensive with kids, rate. too. Because now you're not just playing for you, yeah. and the kids play games a lot quicker than you do because yeah. they lose real fast. So frustrating. So we went bowling, and we got them their own lane because <laughs> they want the bumpers and yeah. that thing that slides the ball down. So we're bowling with them, and we have t- paying for two lanes, and they're, you know, it was just it was really expensive. That's cool. It was fun, though. All right. I'd do it again. Are we ready to wrap up? Let's wrap this thing up. Okay. Everybody, thank you for listening. Have a good Valentine's Day. Um, And then also, don't buy shitty gifts. But do buy fundies. Or fun gifts. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You know what? Get yourself something nice, too. (laughs) And then uh, February 23rd, plan on coming to see me do stand-up at Stand Up Scottsdale. Uh, February 23rd, 7 p.m., $10 a ticket. And call, make your reservations, 480-882-0730. What? Were you going to say something? No. Ah, oh, you just take a deep breath. <laughs> I was stifling a yawn. Just kidding. I was holding back all my exciting things. All talking. right, guys. <laughs> I can't stop oh coughing. <laughs> I have to get him a ludens. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Kyle here. If you're like me, then you want all your shows in one spot. Or a lot of shows in the same place. Or better yet, some really great podcasts all on one network. Visit foureyedradio.com for all the best shows featured on Blog Talk Radio, Stitcher, iTunes, Mixcloud, and more. Four Eyed Radio Network. The Fern.